Hey guys, normally I do not do uh, two videos in the same day, but this is an update on this morning's video. This morning, I told you that Nike had a shoe called Satan's Shoe. Now, um, this shoe was to go on sale today. Now, say, uh, Nike uh, does not endorse this shoe. At least they say they don't endorse this shoe, but it has their logo on it. Uh, the maker of this shoe or the, the person behind the idea of this shoe is a rapper by the name of Lil Nas X. And this shoe is wicked to the core. This shoe has, like I mentioned this morning, has a drop of blood, human blood, mixed with red ink in each of the soles. So on the sole of the shoe has a drop of human blood in it. Uh, this, this shoe has a scripture, as I mentioned this morning, Luke chapter 10, verse 18, which I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. And the price of the shoe, it, it echoed Luke chapter 10, verse 18, because the price of the shoe was $1,018 for a pair of shoes. Now, here's the update on the shoes. The shoe sold out. Satan's shoe sold out in less than one minute. Not even 60 seconds on the market and the shoe sells out. Now, this could be because one of two reasons. Number one, Lil Nas's uh, uh, inventory was really small. Now, um, his inventory was only 666 shoes. Now, the reason why um, that inventory, it is a small inventory, but the inventory is not about making money. The inventory is a direct connection to the mark of the beast, which is found in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 uh, through verse 18. It says, also, it causes all both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead, so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark. That is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And its number is 666. So the reason that Lil Nas only sold 666 pair of shoes is because it's a direct connection to the mark of the beast, uh, pure evil uh, personified. This is, this is complete and total wickedness. Now, um, I believe that the mark of the beast is going to present itself. I believe this for a while that the mark of the beast will be will be presented, would be put out there around Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And here's why. It's found in uh, Exodus chapter 13. God has delivered Israel out of Egypt, but he tells Moses uh, something very important. Exodus chapter 13, I'm going to start reading with verse 3. Then Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of slavery. For by a strong hand the Lord brought you out from this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today in the month of Abib you are going out. And when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your fathers to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey, you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen with you, and no leavened bread shall be seen with you in all your territory. You shall tell your son on that day, it is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. Verse nine is the key verse, it says, and it shall be to you as a sign on your hand and as a memorial between your eyes 
that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. And he echoes that same sentiment in verse 16. It says, It shall be as a mark on your hand or frontlets between your eyes, for by a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. You see, the mark of God upon Israel was the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Because they had to take a, the blood of a lamb, put it on the door frame, and the death angel passed over them. And every year on that day, they, would, they were to commemorate and celebrate that day, and it would last for one week. This was a mark. This was a sign. And according to uh, Exodus 13, verse 9 and verse 16, it was a mark and a sign on their hand and on their forehead. The mark of the beast in Revelation 13 is supposed to be on their forehead or on their right hand. And to me, I, I knew that Satan was trying to mock God. He's trying to duplicate God's sign upon his people, God's seal upon his people. And so I'm, I was just convinced that the mark of the beast would come out about the time of Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Well, in Israel, yesterday began Passover, and so it's not a coincidence that Satan's shoes, with an inventory of only 666 pair of shoes, went on sale today, and it sold out in less than 60 seconds. I said this meant two things. The first thing it meant was that his inventory was really small. It wasn't about the mass number. It was all about connecting it with the mark of the beast. The second reason, the second thing that this implies is the total wickedness and depravity of our nation and in fact our very world. It's amazing what we uh, cancel in our culture, but what we allow in our culture. And if there's anything that should be being canceled, it's this kind of stuff that should be canceled. Why would, why would we as Americans, why would we as people want this kind of stuff in our homes? We shouldn't. It shows the total wickedness of our nation and our world when something like this, a pair of shoes, that has a drop of human blood in the soul. And like I told you this morning, the soul of a shoe is spelled differently than the soul of our, of our spirit. But uh, it, it, I think the, the symbolism is very real in this scenario. Why would we want that? Why would something like that sell, sell out? in less than 60 seconds. It completely blows my mind, but uh, uh, that's just give you guys an update of a video I had done this morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be praying because the signs are out there and it is a wicked world that's out there, but I want you to realize that light will win. Jesus Christ wins. Um, that uh, scripture, Luke 10, 18, and the price which duplicates it, $1,018, all that does is say that Satan fell from heaven. Satan himself, it, he knows that he lost. He knows that he's kicked out of heaven. Uh, Jesus Christ wins. The church wins. The bride of Christ wins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray that y'all have a blessed day.